so glad you're spending an hour with us. This means the world. Isa on board from the radio station. Good to see you, Isa. You too. This is a hot talker, a new study about shacking up. Does living together before you get married work for your marriage or increase the odds of divorce? We hit the streets of Denver to get your opinion. Well, I think on the surface, it doesn't seem to be such a problem, but I am concerned that it's breaking down the family unit. Find out who they are before you commit to getting married to them, because, you know, a lot changes when you live with someone. I think it's a good thing, because then you get to know if you can actually live with that person. I think if you are going to get married, and um, you should be willing to go all out. Now, the study says, this new study, if you live together after you get engaged, but before you get married, your chances of divorce do not go up. Wow. So marriage counselor Carolyn Bashong joins us with your advice. Let's get straight to it. Okay. What's your bottom line on living together before you're married? Well, if you're going to live together before you get married and you don't have a plan for marriage, that's what used to happen in, like in the 60s, is that people would just kind of fall into it. And when they fell into it, um, the woman usually thought, okay, we're going to, this is before marriage. This is a prelude to marriage. And the men thought, this is kind of convenient. I'm kind of enjoying it. Right. There was no plan. There was no plan. So, and so that's why the stats really make a difference now. I mean, in fact, I have a male client who said he lived with his girlfriend three years until she pressed marriage. And I said, well, if you enjoyed living with her and you felt like you loved her, why didn't you marry her? And he said, well, I didn't think she was the one. Uh, so really? You, so the key is have a definite plan that right. you are going to get married. Such as, let's, let's uh, live together while we're finishing school or while we're finishing up something. Thing, whatever and then a year from then let's get engaged and you know have the whole plan put set it in out. writing if you have to absolutely <laughs> do what you, you need to what? do to get absolutely. the deal absolutely you I gotcha. we were talking about this idea of a test drive yeah right. should you test drive your spouse before you marry him yes I think that you should absolutely although it's still very different living together and marriage are very very different okay living together usually you kind of act like roommates as far as splitting the rent and and right. that kind of thing mm -hmm. once you you get married there are all kinds of expectations about now you're the husband or you're the wife and I mean I've had tons of my clients tell me at that point the wife is like we have to have new china we have to have new furniture everything has to be perfect oh, wow. whereas living together they were like hey this is fun right Got and then it. it turned super serious but you would advise couples that it can help you understand your partner better yes I do I do say though I don't believe in living together if you're going to be having children right off the bat I do I think that point. children need the stability, children need Absolutely. to know. And an example. Exactly. Yep. And all mm -hmm. the stars these days are, are giving the wrong example. Sure. Very well said. I, I mm -hmm. love your perspective on this, and it's becoming something more and more couples do. So You don't know anybody until you live with them. Ain't right. that the truth, sister? <laughs> no, that is right. Thanks and, for coming yeah. on the show. Thank you. Always good stuff. When we come back, it's our cute kid of the day. Stick around. <laughs>